Hey everybody, it's Mike and welcome to Chip Damage. And today's video is all about love and peace and that is because we are talking about Kotobukiya's release of Vashta Stampede from Trigun, particularly the movie Trigun Badlands Rumble. So begin, yes, I'm a massive Trigun fan. I love the show to death. I have many fond memories of staying up into the wee hours of the morning trying to catch the show in Adult Swim and it stuck with me, it really hit me. And unfortunately there just wasn't a lot of merchandise, a lot of things to actually buy for Trigun until about 2010 with the release of the movie Trigun Badlands Rumble. Uh, I love that movie. I had to travel quite a distance to Boston to a convention to catch the English premiere of a movie and I'm glad that I did because it was great. And because of it, we got more Trigun merchandise and that's a good thing. So to begin, um, this figure was originally released a little bit after that movie but has been re-released several times since then and there are two variants. The variant in front of you, like that's Vasta Stampede to me with the red coat and blonde hair. However, there is a version with a black coat and silver hair that you can find out there. But me, I wanted the OG. I wanted the 60 billion double dollar man uh, as I grew up with them. And that is this version as you see here. Uh, the movie that is based on Trigun Badlands Rumble, as I said, is kind of connected to both the Trigun anime and manga. So it takes um, inspiration from both of those. So some of the design elements are from the anime. Some of the design elements are from the manga. So keep that in mind as we go along. So enough talking, uh, let's begin. Uh, let's, how tall is this sucker? So as you can see here, the height of his gun right there is right around seven and a half inches. So, you know, he fits in a display case uh, that you don't have to have too big of a display case to fit him. He's about mm, 11, 12 inches at the base, 11 and a half. So, you know, not too huge, but just right for if you want to fit him with some other figures. And let's start from bottom to top with a close-up, shall we? So, as you can see, very stylish, jagged base, something you would probably see on the planet Gunsmoke, uh, kind of like a broken glass effect with the name of the movie on it. Really liking that. Uh, let's get a good look at his boots because they are cool. They are very metal. Um, you know, you got the leather straps. You got the, the bolts everywhere, like a belt effect. Um, the bottom of his cape is a different color to show, like, distress. It's, it's very cool. The red really pops. It's... It really like has shades too, very dynamic, um, like shifting reds, really love that. And moving up, you can see he has the belts on his torso uh, that wrap around, kind of showing uh, a cross on his back, the X on his back going up. He's got the, uh, you know, his prosthetic arm wrapped up in the uh, in more leather, looking real cool. Um, yeah, I just, I love the dynamic, like dynamic motion of this. I love the shades of red. They, they did not cheap out for a figure of this size and price, which by the way, it launched for about 120 US dollars back in the day. It was really, this is good craftsmanship. Let's get a good look at his gun, kind of more of the manga inspired gun, as you can see. Um, very cool looking, very fitting. Got the, uh, the down his, uh, the stripe down his sleeve, right to his handsome face. Let's get a good look at this boy. So yeah, as you can see, um, Vash has that like knowing handsome grin on him. He comes with the glasses. Those are very brittle. Those are v I've actually had to repair them before. I did as best I could. So be very careful while removing or um, putting those on. But yeah, look like Vash is just looking real cool with those. So yeah. That uh, I, I love the facial sculpt. I love the blonde hair moving up. Very spiky. It's actually kind of sharp to the touch. Um, it's a proper shade of blonde and yellow. And God, I love this figure. So yeah, um, that's kind of the the uh, whole up and down of Vashta Stampede from Cobra Kia. There, but there is one little bonus that he just knocked over from uh, some of the releases, some of the earlier releases, and that is. Kuroniko, the little cat that appears in the back of uh, most Trigun episodes as well as uh, the manga chapters. So um, unfortunately this is not released with every version of the figure, but it is a nice little bonus for those who can find it. Um, the only thing about her is that she comes with this little base that she's not attached to, so you kind of have to balance her on it, which is a little annoying, but it's a nice bonus. I'm glad they threw it in there. It's not essential though. It's just a little bonus for fans who picked it up early. And that does it for our boy Vash. So. If you've enjoyed this, please check out our other videos where we overlook Spike from Code Bikia from Cowboy Bebop. We're also going to be looking at Wolfwood from Code Bikia next, a favorite of mine, so please keep your eye out for that. My name is Mike. This has been Chip Damage, and thank you for watching. Take care.